assistant professor department of commerce ksr college of arts and science for women tichagodu and we are going to discuss in cost accounting the maximum level we are having some order level the one by one we are discuss the first one is the maximum level it is the quantity of the material beyond which a firm should not exceed its start if the quantity exceeds the maximum level limit then it will be termed as a overstocking the maximum level that is that mean maximum level means every unit or every manufacturing industry having the stores or good on they are maintaining the stock especially they are appointing the stores person the store keeper for their uh, particular uh, store they are i have to be maintain the stock level has a some certain limit if you go the exceeds the limit that is called the maximum level so maximum level starts to equal to reorder level plus reordering quantity minus minimum consumption into minimum reordering period so this is the formula for the maximum level the next one is minimum level this represents the quantity that must be maintained in the hand the all times if stocks are less than the minimum level then the work will stop due to the shortage of material so the company must maintain the the maximum level or the certain limited level of the quantity the product if you suppose the product was it should be uh, below the limit that means that is called the minimum level if suppose that uh, sometimes what happen the company having due to shortage of work and also to be available maybe will be happen the minimum level of time so that time we have to be dedicated to maintain the company so minimum level of the stocks so most important so the minimum stock level is equal to the reorder level minus normal divided by average consumption into normal average reorder period so this is the formula for the minimum stock level the next one is reorder level when the quantity of material reach a certain level then fresh orders is sent to produce material again so the reorder level means it will be like a cycle so maximum levels they exceed the normal limit level minimum level so below under the limit level the reorder level means when the quantity of material reach the certain level then fresh order will be sent to the produce material so again that is the order cycle level the order is sent to before material reach the minimum stock level so the reorder level is equal to the maximum consumption rate into maximum reorder period or minimum level plus normal divided by average consumption into normal or average reorder level so this is the formula for um, so reorder level fine the next one is average stock level as a company must should maintain the average stock level so this is for or not a minimum level or maximum level it's the average so the company should possess or ensure the day by day they have to be confirmed whether it is stock or having average level or not it is the level of an average minimum level and maximum level it means the average level is maintained in states the average stock is equal to max, maximum level plus minimum level divided by 2 this is for average stock yeah the next one is danger stock level so this is a level below the minimum stock level when a stock reach this level immediate action is needed to take up for a replacement of stock this is the very uh, one of the important thing in company because the company ensure does not go for the danger stock level this is the so very harmfulness because they have to be maintain the certain limit or average stock limit have to be possess or maintain so danger stock level comes to company that will be sometime due to shortage the work will be stop at any point of time then danger level is equal to the average rate of consumption into urgent supply time this is for the danger stock level the next one is the methods of pricing we have the separate method the lifo or fifo then first one is fifo the fifo means first in first out that is called the called fifo fifo and lifo are method used in the cost of goods sold calculation the fifo means first in first out assumes that the oldest product in a company inventory have been sold first so that is goes to the production cost so this is called the fifo method the advantages of fifo method materials are issued at the basis of the purchase it is very simple and easily understandable the closing inventory is valued at the current level prices so this is the important advantages of the fifo method the next one is the lifo the last in first out this method assumes 
that the most recent product in a company inventory level should be sold first uses the those cost is inside this is for the fifo method that mean the goods were sold in the last level from the last the advantages of lifo method this method is suitable for the time period when it is price is rising it is easy to understand this leads to minimum unrealized gain so these are the important factors we are discussed in the lifo fifo and uh, minimum level reorder level maximum level then remaining things we are discussed in next video thank you so much for watching video